A couple of days ago, I made this video saying I switched to Alacrity, which is a Tamil emulator. And I had this one major problem with Alacrity, which made me switch to another Tamil emulator. The problem was, I've already tried out some of the ones like Kitty that didn't have good TMAX support, and Ghosty that was generally just slow. And my final decision was to switch to Westerm which is really cool and unique terminal emulator and today we're just gonna go through the features, configuration and reasons for me to switch as well as that one major problem that made me switch from Alacrity. So first of all this is what Westerm looks like, it's pretty simple, by default it looks very default, that, wasn't, that was pretty obvious and it does actually have a tab bar by default which is uh, using some GTK sort of thing or I don't actually think it's GTK but it does have a tab bar and if I enable the tab bar in the configuration then you can see that the configuration does actually live reload similar to that one in Alacrity so in Alacrity whenever you change your configuration it will just reload and that's how it works so you can see how we can have tabs in here I personally I just disabled the tab bar. The Westem is also configured in Lua. Now I don't care about the configuration fi configuration file or what language it's configured in because it just doesn't matter much, right? It's just a configuration language and it's pretty easy to configure. We can set our color scheme. We can add these overrides to our color scheme if you want that. You can obviously change some stuff like font and all that. And it does require this Westerm API stuff. So that's kind of weird, but you know, it works. And Westerm also has some cool features like image rendering that they don't really care about. So this is the only way I can render images right now. And you can see that it does actually have this image rendering, which it's actually stealing from Kitty. So it's using the Kitty image rendering protocol to render those images. And another cool feature is that it has good TMAX support. Now this is the one major problem that I had with Alacrity. Where if I open Alacrity right now, you can see that this TMAX bus background is actually this grayish color. When it's supposed to be this sort of... Uh, regular color right and Alacrity has that problem with any sort of tmux bar and I think Kitty also has that problem but I'm not gonna use Kitty anyway since it has bad tmux support now the problem with ghosty was that it just took two seconds to load up right I don't want my Timul emulator to take two seconds to load up as for valent Westem does actually have native valent support I know that there are some valent compositors like Hypeland where Westem might not work out of the box but for me it did actually work out of the box. The configuration is also really easy. So I just went through this config. You can see that it's not that much of a thing. I just copied everything from the documentation which is also very messy. You can see that it's got a huge documentation here and one of the greatest West Ham features is the color schemes. So right now if I go to configuration here, go to colors and appearance and then we can go to the color scheme section which should show us all of the color schemes. Now this is uh, organized by these letters right but we can actually go here to see all of the colors that it's pulling from. It ships over 700 color schemes and it's from item 2 which is a terminal emulator for Mac and those color schemes it ships from base 16 go and terminal.cc so it's got all of those color schemes which is really cool and one weird thing though is that with the color schemes so let's say if i go to d for dracula and i search for dracula then originally i was using this uh, dracula color scheme right but it turns out this is actually a modified version of the dracula color scheme from the item 2 color scheme section and the actual thing is from the here so it's called dracula official and even when it is official the colors are a bit wrong for example this purple is not supposed to be d6 acff it's supposed to be this code instead so that's kind of weird but that's that and as for some other stuff i have really no problems with that i don't care about much features i think it is written in rust which I don't care about the programming language that the terminal emulator is written in. It has features like ligatures, which basically means like if I do this, then you can sort of see how it converts to one thing. Or this, then you will convert to a, 
uh, error, right? Stuff like that is ligatures. It's got hyperlinks and uh, dynamic color schemes. It does support true color, which most terminal emulators do. It's got stuff like scroll back, all of that, right? And that's Vestem. And it's actually one of my viewers that told me to make a video on Vestem. So I have to say thank you to whoever said that. I will put their mention in the description down below. Anyways, my Vestem experience has been awesome, right? This is a really awesome terminal and it's kind of great. I never heard about this and now that I did, it's really cool that it uh, goes very well with Tmux. It's got all of this color scheme. It's also kind of fast. Vestem is the best terminal emulator that I have ever used. And I have made a review on Ghosty before, right? And Ghosty is just a great terminal emulator, but I really don't like the GTK part of it. I don't like that it uses these GTK pop-ups for everything. And I also don't like the fact that it's slow. It takes two seconds to open. I don't want that, right? I want my terminal to instantaneously open. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and see you later.